हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वांगीकर वेलकम्स यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ रोलिंग कॉन्टैक्ट बेरिंग दैट इज डिजाइन फॉर साइक्लिक लोड एंड साइक्लिक स्पीड्स इन मेनी सिचुएशंस द बेरिंग इज सब्जेक्टेड टू डिफरेंट लोडिंग कंडीशंस इट इज नॉट ऑलवेज पॉसिबल दैट द बेरिंग विल ऑपरेट ऑन अ स्टैंडर्ड स्पीड on a fixed speed on a constant speed for lifetime so in many applications the bearing subjected to cyclic load and speed as an just example we will consider a typical cycle a bearing is subjected to a radial load of 2500 newton at 700 rpm for 25% of time radial load of 5000 newton at 900 rpm for 50% of time and radial load of 3000 newton sorry 1000 newton at 750 rpm for remaining 25% of time see the cycle is divided into three parts first is 25% of time 50% of time and again remaining 25% of time so under these conditions it is required to consider the complete work cycle while finding out the dynamic load carrying capacity of the bearing so let us assume that this is a complete work cycle and very important while considering the complete work cycle divide the work cycle into number of elements during which operating conditions of load and speed are constant for example this is the first condition see first condition radial load 2500 newton and rpm 700 is constant similarly you can see for second condition and third condition the rpm that is speed and load are constant therefore for a given problem we can say that the cycle can be divided into three parts now let us see how to calculate load based on these conditions suppose that any work cycle is divided into x elements let us assume that p1 p2 p3 dash 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 may be up to px be the loads acting on it and n1 n2 dash 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 nx be the speeds during these particular elements during the first element the life corresponding life is l1 for second element life is p1 l2 so like this first element life l1 corresponding to load p1 is given by we are having formula for life l1 is c by p raised to 3 whatever formula we are having in million revolutions if we will convert it will become 10 raised to 6 revolutions so life l1 for first element with load p1 is given by l1 is equal to c divided by p1 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 6 if i will say this is life l1 then after one revolution the life consumed will become 1 upon l1 so the life consumed 1 upon l1 or i will write this complete equation 1 divided by complete equation so i will write p1 cube by c cube into 1 by 10 raised to 6 so if that element instead of 1 if it consist of n1 revolutions then similarly that one will be replaced by n1 and i will write n1 p1 cube divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube friends if i want to write for second element then i will write that n2 will be n1 will be replaced by n2 p1 will be replaced by p2 and i can write n2 p2 cube divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube if i want to write for third element i will write n3 p3 cube divided by 10 raised to 6 similarly friends we can continue for writing if i add all these 3 4 whatever elements which will comprise a cycle then this addition will give me a complete work cycle so the complete work cycle n1 p1 cube divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube plus n2 p2 cube divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube plus dash 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 whatever elements are there nx px cube divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube this is one complete revolution based on the number of elements in which it is splitted now if i will assume that pe is the equivalent load for complete cycle then the life consumed by the work cycle is given by in a total i will write n into pe 
raised to 3 divided by 10 raised to 6 c cube. Here P stands for the equivalent load and N stands for N is equal to N1 plus N2 plus dash 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 up to Nx. See friends, the equation A gives complete work cycle. Equation B also gives complete work cycle. Let us equate equation A and B as both we are giving the complete work cycle. So if I equate, denominator will get cancelled and it become N1 P1, P1 cube plus N2 P2 cube plus N3 P3 cube plus dash 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 Nx Px cube is equal to NP cube. If I will write PE, other side will become cube root and N will come on this side divided by. So cube root of N1 P1 cube plus N2 P2 cube plus dash 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 Nx Px cube divided by this N is nothing but N1 plus N2 plus N3. The same equation I can write, this is nothing but summation of NP cube and this is nothing but summation of N. Now what is this N1, N2, N3 and what is this N we have to consider if we split in cycle that we will come to know after solving problems. So friends, before solving problems keep in mind this formula which will require for calculation of PE equivalent load. The change in problem solving is only we are having the formula for dynamic load carrying capacity in terms of P. Just to put PE in that equation P, the P will be replaced by PE, all other things will remain same. So I am requesting you to just keep in mind this formula for PE, we will proceed for numerical number 1. Single row deep groove ball bearing has a dynamic load capacity of 40,500 Newton and operates on following work cycle. See friends, three elements are given. For three elements, radial load of 5000 Newton at 500 RPM for 25% of time, radial load of 10,000 Newton at 700 RPM for 50% of time and radial load of 7000 Newton at 400 RPM for remaining 25% of time. Calculate the expected life of the bearing in hours. What is given here friends? Dynamic load carrying capacity C is equal to 40,500 Newton and we have to calculate the life in hours. It is clear cut given that the life cycle is made up of three parts. So for understanding purpose, now here I will make one table in as is the first problem. So I have written once again what is given and let us proceed for the table. We will first calculate the equivalent load PE for complete work cycle. Let us consider the work cycle of 1 minute duration, very important. Consider the work cycle of 1 minute duration. The values of P and N are tabulated as follows. Three elements are there, I will say three elements. P in Newton for first element 5000, for second element 10,000, for third element 7000. Element time, for 25% of time, I have considered for 1 minute. So 25% of 1 minute, I can say 0.25. 50% of 1 minute, I can say 0.5 minute and 25% remaining, I will say 25, 0.25. So if I will add, it should become 1 minute because we have considered the cycle of 1 minute duration. Now speed for these three cases, first case 500, second element 700, third element 400. This is the data given which I have marked here in one tabular format. Now I want to calculate the N, that is N1, N2, N3 after dividing the cycle into three parts revolution n in element time is given by n1 is equal to speed 500 into 0 0.25 or 1 by 4 so 500 into 0.25 it will become 1 125 so the logic behind this 500 revolution per minute but i want only for 20, 0.25 minute or one fourth of minute therefore 500 are revolutions per minute so for one fourth of minute this is 0 0.25 or 1 by 4 into 500, you will get 125 RPM. Similarly, this is N2. N2 is equal to 700 into 0.5. N3 is equal to 400 into 0 0.25. So this is your N1, this is your N2, this is your N3. And this is your capital N is nothing but N1 plus N2 plus N3. Friends, keep in mind, don't consider these values hereafter for any calculation. So I will repeat P1, P2, P3. P1 5000, P2 10,000, P3 7000 and N1 125, N2 350, N3 100 and if you want to put N 570. Let us proceed for calculation. Very first equivalent load. 
वी आर हैविंग फॉर्मुला पी ई इक्वल एंड टू डी इक्वल टू क्यूब रूट ऑफ एन वन पी वन क्यूब प्लस एन टू पी टू क्यूब प्लस एन थ्री पी थ्री क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाई एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस एन थ्री सब्सटीट्यूड द वैल्यूज एन वन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पी वन फाइव थाउजेंड एन टू थ्री फिफ्टी पी टू टेन थाउजेंड एन थ्री वन हंड्रेड पी थ्री सेवन थाउजेंड एंड आई हैव कैलकुलेटेड एन वन प्लस एन टू प्लस एन थ्री फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव बाई यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर आई विल अराइव एट पी ई इक्वेलेंट लोड इज इक्वल टू एट एट सिक्स जीरो न्यूटन नाउ नेक्स्ट एज सिंपल बेरिंग लाइफ वेरी क्रिटिकल स्टेज विच इज रिक्वायर्ड इन दिस इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ पी After that PE calculation, the same formula is there. So according to load-life relationship, we have L10 is equal to C divided by PE. C friends here before we have used PE. Now we are using PE. Raised to three. Substitute values 40,500 divided by 8860. Just calculated. You will get the answer 95.51 million revolutions. Life we have calculated friends, but in the numerical it is asked the life in hours. We are having formula for L10 is equal to 60n L10h divided by 10 raised to 6. The same formula is arranged in terms of L10h, relation between L10 and L10h. So I will put here value of L10 and I will simply calculate the value of L10h. And here also, friends, keep in mind the n value very important. You will keep 575, which we have calculated. so you will get the answer 276568 hours so friends uh, i want to summarize first in the numerical you have to calculate n1 n2 n3 n1 is equal to whatever rpm given into elemental time for that particular cycle similarly calculate n2 n3 then go for pe equivalent load calculation and then you can calculate l10 in hours second numerical based on the same type a ball bearing is operating on a work cycle consisting of three parts a radial load 3000 newton at 1440 rpm for one quarter cycle one quarter 1 by 4 radial load of 5000 newton at 720 rpm for one half cycle one half and the radial load of 2500 newton at 1440 rpm for remaining cycle see friends one quarter one half so 0.25 and 0.5 so what is remaining the remaining will be 1 by 4 or 0.25 the expected life is 10000 hours calculate the dynamic load carrying capacity friends in the last numerical dynamic load carrying capacity was given and we have calculated life in hours here life in hours is given we have to calculate the dynamic load carrying capacity what is life given i have written here. now very first step to calculate the pe equivalent load and before that calculation of n1 n2 and n3 again i will start consider the work cycle of 1 minute duration so n1 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1440 this is given value and 1 by 4 this is one quarter cycle it will give you 360 n2 is equal to this is one half cycle 720 and remaining will be 1 by 4 so n3 is equal to 1 by 4 into whatever rpm given so this value becomes your n1 value this is your n2 this is your n3 and if you add n1 plus n2 plus n3 then you will get the average speed of rotation n is equal to 1080 rpm therefore here after i will use this value as n1 n2 n3 and this value as n proceed further for equivalent load calculation again same formula pe is equal to cube root of n1 p1 cube plus n2 p2 cube plus n3 p3 cube divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 friends substitute the values n1 360 n2 360 n3 360 P1 3000, P2 5000, P3 2500 divided by 1080. You will get the answer by using calculators. P is equal to 3823 newton. Equivalent load acting on the bearing when the bearing is subjected to cyclic load and cyclic speed condition is 3823 newton. Next step: dynamic load carrying capacity. Friends, the life is given in hours. we have to convert in million revolutions so 60 into n keep in mind here n i have already given you idea 1080 it is nothing but n1 plus n2 plus n3 which we have already calculated life in hours i will put and i will get the answer 648 million revolutions and the dynamic load carrying capacity is given by c is equal to p into l 10 raised to 1 by 3 p we have calculated 38 to 3823 l 10 we have calculated substitute the value 
you will get the answer dynamic load carrying capacity is 33,082 Newton. So friends concluding remarks today we have in this lecture we have discussed about the calculation of equivalent load when the bearing is subjected to cyclic load and cyclic speed divide into number of work cycle consider work cycle of one minute calculate n1 n2 n3 calculate equivalent load proceed further if the life in hours is given you can calculate dynamic load and if the dynamic load is given you can calculate life in hours so thank you friends thank you very much